What's it like to be married to a guy in the mafia? What's it like to have your husband killed by Sammy the Bull? How the hell would I know, Connie? And what is it like to know where Jimmy Hoffa is buried? And to have kept this secret all this time. Linda Melito has written a book. The book is called Mafia Wife. How you doing, Linda? Yes. Uh, I understand, uh, Mafia Wife. Where oh, Jimmy Hoffa's buried. I understand. You know where Jimmy Hoffa is buried. <laughs> She's giving you the quiet sign, like we're supposed to sit here and whisper? <laughs> Married to a mob guy. You're a Jewish girl? I sure am. Wow. Were your parents pissed? No, they wanted to get rid of me. They wanted to get rid of you? Well, my mother, not my father. Yeah. Yeah, you see? So they'd have married you to anybody, huh? You got it. What was your husband's name? Louis Melito. Hey, get close to that microphone. I don't want to miss a word of your mafia okay. story. Louis Melito. Moving closer. Come on. <laughs> like it. I'm serious. Okay, Louis Melito. Did you say Louis Melito? Yes, sir. That's what I thought you said. Mm. Back in the day, no one could mess with you, right? If they did, he would kill them. You're right, yes. Wow. Are you still dangerous in any way? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Are you connected in any way? Oh, no. No? no, no, no. Oh, good. Thank well, you. Well, let me you. ask you something. So we're allowed to mess with I'm, you? I want to make sure I can mess with you. That's all. I'm going to make sure there's no way. You right. Can... I just wanted to... Uh, <laughs> but you knew you were marrying a mafia guy, a mob guy? Uh, no, he was a hairdresser. He was a hairdresser who would rob, do a little robbery on the side, maybe. That's right. He yeah. was a dangerous petty, bad boy. A petty thief. Petty thief. Mm -hmm. How did he get into the mob? Uh, he asked a favor. Uh, he, his brother was being um, drafted into the Vietnam War, mm -hmm. and his mother uh, asked his oldest, him, who was the oldest brother, to go into the neighborhood, which was Bensonhurst, and see if he could get him bought out of the war. Hmm. And, and that what, was possible to do? Oh, yeah. No kidding. You go to a mob guy and say, get me out of the war. Sure. How did they do that? Uh, they went to a doctor, and they got a 4F letter. And if the doctor didn't write it, he'd probably kick his ass. Well, uh, I guess so. And everybody I, owed everyone favors, but... The, pa the, the price was he had to go, what, kill someone? Uh, he, when you ask for a favor, you owe a favor. Mm -hmm. And he saved his brother's life, but he gave up his own life. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good movie. Did you sell the book yet to the movies? Almost. Look at you. I'm trying. Why not? Uh -huh. Well, I... Uh, is the book really coming out? I mean, is it published? Book is out. The book's here. here you it see is. it. Who's, uh, who's the publisher? Uh, uh, Harper Collins. Got a picture of you on the cover? Uh, at 19, yes. Oh, back Let in the day, huh? Let me see that. Uh, where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm right here. Look at what she looked like oh, at 19. Look at that. That's now, at 19, and this is wife. me at 56. <laughs> <laughs> you look good at 56, but... Man, look at you at 19. I know. I didn't know I was pretty. You were pretty, honey. I did not know. Because you, you wouldn't have married chick. a mafia guy if you were pretty. Uh, huh? I yeah. had such low self-esteem. Really? I was raped two times before I was 16. Oh. Who raped you? Kobe Bryant. <coughs> no. If it was Kobe, you owed a lot of money, honey. <laughs> Jelly Bean Bryant. <laughs> but it was some guy you knew? Uh, no, I was raped at 10 from a family member. Really? And then at, uh, uh, at 15, I was raped from somebody that was uh, um, l like a bad boy. Right. Mm -hmm. So you probably figured you were worthless and ugly. That's right. But you were a hot piece of ass you didn't know. I guess I was. You probably could have married anybody, a legitimate guy. Elvis would have loved you. I, yeah. I, right. I, I, I probably could have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whole life could have been different. Yeah. I I'd say you end up with Louis, the mob guy. But he wasn't a mob guy when I met him. No. Hairdresser like my family was. Right. Uh, what is it, Baba Louie? I, I was looking at the notes. He must have been a pretty tough hairdresser because she had a, she has an interesting story from her honeymoon night. Did he beat you on your honeymoon night or something? Or he made you sleep in another room? Uh, uh, refresh my memory. I'm sorry. You were sorry. coughing? Oh, I was coughing, yes. And he made me, he made me go. Uh, uh, he just couldn't handle it, the coughing. I had a uh, tickle in my throat, and he made me go in the bathroom. You sleep in the bathroom? Uh -huh. <laughs> that was your first night with him? Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did he smack you around if he got out of line? Yes, he did. He did? Sometimes, he... Uh, yeah, if I didn't do, do what he said, yeah. Did, uh, but did... I thought I deserved it. Yeah, he probably did. No, no, no. I think now that she knows different. I mean, back, coughing. Back Come back on. Then, what you, who wants to hear you cough? Yeah. <laughs> Get the bathroom. Right. I couldn't help it. You're a hot girl, man. I'm checking out that picture. Thank you. Oh. Louie well. didn't appreciate that. I'll, 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 I'll leave it this way for you. Huh? Louie didn't know what he had. Did you used to bang any of the other mob guys? No. You were no. very faithful oh. to Louie. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> was Louie a high level guy? Uh, he was a captain in the Gambino oh. family. Made hey. member. Nice. Now, Good let love. me ask you something, though. Was Self starter. Were, were you in love with Louie? Uh, throughout my life. Really? Why? Because he was like he was a guy who could protect you and keep you safe? Uh, I kind of thought that that's what I deserved. Right. You uh, didn't know any better. I didn't know any better. I really didn't know any better. But 
th there was a good side to Louis, and I hate to say it, everybody says, how could there be a good side? If you read my book, you'd understand, and I'm sure the readers out there understand. How did he make his money? He, he I read he broke into... Um Payphones? Pay phones? Yes. <laughs> and then, then when I guess when he got into the mafia, he had to do worse things. Uh, well, he 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 did things for them. Too. Right. Did he kill? Yes. That's how you get to be a made member. Don't. You can't be a made member unless you murder somebody. No kidding. Mm -mm. You thought you could just walk in and uh, ask. I thought him. maybe if you were a good earner, why do you have to kill someone? I didn't know. I didn't know that he was doing all this. I uh, know. He kept his. He always keep that private. Uh, well. So then, how the hell would you know where? Jimmy Hoffa's buried. Okay. Back in, uh, I, I started to put two and two together when my son got in his motorcycle accident and, and disfigured him. And uh, then I started to pay less attention to Louis and more attention to what was going on around me. Hmm. And I realized that I had a problem. And the problem was... Uh, Louis. Right. And uh, we had a, we were starting to have a very big argument going over the Verrazano Bridge. And this is the first time that I'm actually saying the story. Um, so You've never even said this story? It's not in your book. No, no. The reason why it's not in my book is because I didn't want the FBI and everybody coming after me and my book not to be published. I didn't want them stopping me from publishing this book. Let me tell you something right now to my audience. You are about to learn the location... Of Jimmy Hoffa's body. Scrut. Is that what you're saying here, Linda? For the first time ever, you As will reveal. Per Louis lips. All right, go ahead. Uh, so we're driving over the Verrazano Bridge, and now he's telling. We're arguing over stupid things, and now he's trying to show his, I guess, his masculinity to me. Right. Uh, and uh, at that point, I was kind of vicious to him at times because of my husband, my son's uh, condition. condition. Yeah. Okay? And um, uh, he told me, he says, you see that stanchion over there? And he's pointing his finger to this column in the Verrazano Bridge going towards Staten Island, the Brooklyn side. Mm -hmm. So I looked at him. I said, so? He says, do you know who uh, Jimmy Hoffa is? And I looked at him and I said, I don't know, some Teamster guy, uh, something in the Teamsters. He says, yeah, do you know that he's missing? And I looked at him again and he says, uh, do you know who did it? I, I says, no. He says, I did it. And you see that stanchion there? He's in that stanchion. He is in the Verrazano Bridge. Uh, he's a part of the Verrazano Bridge. Right. That is what well, you're saying. That's, nice that's what he said to me. Oh. Mr. Hoffa to hold up the bridge. <laughs> yes, that's what he told you. <laughs> if we were to examine the stanchion, we might find the remains of Jimmy Hoffa. Will you find the remains? Knowing Louis, uh, he was a perfectionist, so I don't know if you'll find the remains. I don't know what he did, it, how he did it, where he did it. I don't know. He, remember, he had all the sources in the world, okay, to get rid of these remains. Right. So how he did it, what he did it, all I can tell you is what he told me. There it is, according to Louis. He's in the Verrazano Bridge. That's what he told me. Do you remember exactly which stanchions? I honest, I don't. It's the Jimmy Hoffa stanchion. <laughs> Why is Jimmy Hoffa always got to be either in Giant water. Stadium or you know? Yeah, like, uh, that's what they say. Uh, so yeah. you know, I can only tell. Well, it, did Louis lie to me? I think we have to leave that up to the readers of the book. I think Louis was being honest. But didn't everybody want to claim they knew at some point? But why would Louis lie to me? Uh, you were having an argument, and he was trying to scare you. I think. Well, he could have lied, but. Bobby, read the book. All right. Look, Louis. I've I've told a couple of broads I killed Jimmy Hoffa to impress them. <laughs> Louis, and you said he was buried in Fred's apartment in the stanchion. <laughs> right, and that's the most believable. <laughs> All right, so uh, and Louis was a tough guy. You once uh, you say you once saw him put an axe in a guy's head. Uh, he took off an ear. No kidding. Oh, Who was the guy? Uh, a guy that um, put a, a roof on his on a trailer that we had in uh, Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania. We had 100 acres. And why did Louis chop his ear off with an axe? Because he didn't put the roof on right. Really? So Louis said, "Come over here." So the guy was coming uh, to him with a hammer, and Louis went into the garage and grabbed an axe. So before the guy could get to him with a hammer. And the guy was in his 20s, and Louis was around 45 then. Yeah. Louis took the axe out of the um, uh, the garage and wow. just... Chopped his ear off. Did Louis go to jail for that? Well, there was a sit-down over it. A sit-down? Because these were two made men or something? No, because Louis was the made man. And Louis called the, like, the little mayor of the town that this kid came from. And there was a sit-down, and Louis paid him. The, the, the settlement was that Louis would pay him for the roof. Louis paid him for the roof. $400. And the guy lost his ear. Yeah. <laughs> well, that seems fair.
<laughs> so when did you become aware? How long had you been married to Louis when he became made and then you became aware? Okay, uh, about th three years before he was about two or three years before he was married. Oh, so most of the time you were unaware. Was the sex good with Louis? Yeah. It was. He really knew how to give it to you. Uh, we knew how to do it to each other. Is it like in The Sopranos, though? Did he have a bunch of broads on the side, too? Never, 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 never. Louis You're never sure? cheated. sure? Positively. Don't believe that. I do funeral? believe it. I do believe it. Louis must have I had a good mom. I believe it, no. No guma? Why I'm would he not Because have I'm a lot of women. I'm a, I was his partner. I was his private pad. I was his sounding board. I would, he never, he, I used to, he never really wanted to leave the house. He would only leave the house if he had a meeting with the guys. And uh, most of the meetings were in the house. And, How much money did Louis make? Uh, uh, Louis always put it back into his Shylock book. Okay, so uh, the money really wasn't in the house. I sold real estate, and I was top sales on Staten Island. And uh -huh. I, did, I did very well. No kidding. Mm -hmm. But oh. was it like in The Sopranos where, you know, like money's hidden all over the house? and My money was hidden in the boot. <laughs> no kidding. So where is Louis today? Is he alive? Uh, well, I'm trying to find out where he is so my family can have closure. Uh, there's a lot of holes in my children's heart, and I'm trying to find out closure. My son wanted to put a, uh, what do you call, um, a, a stone for my husband, and I, I really don't want it. It's disrespectful to Louis, and I really feel that Sammy knows where he is. Sammy the Bull. I heard you had him on. Sammy told me where Louis is. He's in the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> And what about that? So you don't. So I, 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 who I, killed your husband? You think Sammy yeah, did? I know Sammy did. It. How do you know Sammy killed Louis? Because somebody told me Sammy. Uh, the FBI records say that Sa that Louis was killed one in the head and one under this way. Under the chin. Uh -huh. I was called to uh, a, a meeting, and the meeting told me that Sammy's mo mm -hmm. was that. And one in the head, one under the chin. And I believe Sa the only one in the neighborhood, the only one in the neighborhood would ever kill Louie would be Sammy. And, and why, why would he do that? that? Yeah. In order for Sammy to elevate to where he was. See, Louie was the old regime, Castellano. Okay? Mm -hmm. No drugs, no kiddie porn, none of this. Right. Louie loved children. Right. Okay? Right. And Sammy, on the other hand, was different. Okay, and he had to get rid of Louis because Louis was the only one around. Okay, that could stop him from doing it. And there would have been an all-out war. Did you ever go to Sammy and say, "Sammy, did you kill my husband?" I sure did. You did. And what did Sammy say? You're crazy. Crazy. And then I was. Then everything was taken away from me. My cars. My money. They didn't take care of you. I thought the mob. They take care of you. Not me. I, Not I was ordered out of New York. Ordered out. Why? Because uh, you're a troublemaker. I, I think Sammy was afraid of me that I was going to go to the feds. Let me talk to uh, Mike. Mike, you're on the air. Hey, this bunch should keep her mouth shut. She should get together with Henry Hillis, rat bitch. Well, why, 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 what is she ratting on? She's not ratting on anyone. She wasn't in the mob. What do you mean? What do you mean? What goes on inside the family stays on inside the family. What do you think about what, what he's saying? Do, are you a rat bitch, as he says? I didn't rat on anybody, Mike. <laughs> listen, listen. you got to keep your mouth shut. Mike, you are understand? you in the mob? I Listen, I don't want to say nothing. You know what I mean? I understand, Mike. I don't want to say nothing. Right. I don't Are you want a friend identity. of ours? Are you a friend of ours? Listen, I, I sat down with Sammy a couple of weeks ago. He has no clue where your husband is, all right? Wow. Leave him alone. Uh, oh, okay. All Keep right. your mouth shut. Oh, okay. Rich, go ahead. Hello, Howard. Yes. This lady is a fraud. If she was a real mafia woman, she wouldn't be talking about anything that she knows or doesn't know. This is bull. You need to get her off the air because she's making bad names for bad people. Get her out of there. Well, everyone's an expert on the mob. She, she was married to a guy in the mob. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Get her off the stand there. It sounds like she's pretty uh, accurate to me. I believe yeah. everything she's saying, to tell you the truth. If she was real, she wouldn't be talking about stuff like this. Because the real women don't ever talk about it. What about that? Isn't there a code among the wives of the mafia? That There's they... also a code among the wives that uh, the children get taken care of. You were not taken care of. Don't no, forget, no. she wasn't taken care of. Not, my, not me, my children. I saw in The Sopranos, you're supposed to take care of the children. What's the, the matter? The family, the whole family you know gets who... taken care of as <clears throat> part of it. Yeah. You know who broke the code is Sammy the Bull. He broke the code. Jeff, you're on the air. Yeah, Howard, how you doing? Hey. Uh, what's this lady talking about? The Verizon Bridge was completed in 64. Jimmy Hoffa disappeared in 75. How'd he get in there? Yeah, I was wondering about that. Uh, yeah, but when was that? What was the the, the uh, building that he was supposed to be in? The Giant Stadium. Yes, when was the Giant Stadium completed? 
76. That's about the time Jimmy Hoffa disappeared. So how'd he go back in time and put him in concrete? I, I don't know, okay, because that, that question was told to me about a, f a couple of months ago. I don't know, but this is what was told to me. So if anybody wants to investigate it, be my guest. I wouldn't even bother investigating. It's not even worth it. Okay. Well, you're saying it's impossible because... It's not impossible. Unless they open it up or they were pouring new concrete that nobody Maybe knew about. Maybe that's what was happening. I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, this is what she was told, and she's just telling you what she knows. That's right. Uh, she wasn't thinking too much, but thanks, Howard, and Robin looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Linda Melito's book is Mafia Wife. It's available in bookstores now if you want to learn about what it's like to be married to a guy in the mob. Old school guy. Castellano style. Yeah, that's pre-John Gotti. That's right. And pre-Sammy Gravano. Linda will be signing copies of her book today from 2 to 4 at the Barnes & Noble at 105th and 5th Avenue, 105 5th Avenue in Manhattan. 105 5th Avenue. Can I and ask you something? If if you if you were taken care of, would you have written this book? Are you writing it to get money because you weren't not, taken no, care of? It's not. No, I'm not writing for money. I'm writing for closure. I, I want to find out where Louis's body is. Mm. Mm. I, I, I truly do. It's not the money, please. Did you have sex with anyone after Louis? Abs uh, I was. I, I got married after Louis. You did. You are married now? And then I can't, no, I'm, I'm not married now. No one could match up to Louis. Uh, no. Really? Honest, yeah. Yeah. Oh. He was my first love, and that's the way it was. You miss him? Terribly. You'd stay married to him even today, knowing what he does. Uh, towards the end of our marriage, he started. He started to realize uh, what was going on. He said to me, Linda, I don't know what I got myself into. Men like me shouldn't have families. Right. A and then he realized what was going on because he was in prison for three years. He was in Allenwood, and uh, when he got out, everything changed. Um, and uh, he even said to me, he says, the only way out of this is uh, to fake a heart attack. I hate to say it, and uh, that's what he was thinking of doing. He was just so disappointed in what was going on. So, Frank, what's up? How you doing, Alex? Hey. Listen, I, I mean no disrespect to this lady, but she's saying she lost her husband. But Frank Gravano didn't have, he might have had something to do partially about killing her husband. But Gotti had, Gotti had her husband killed, not Gravano. Gravano once tried, tried keeping John from killing uh, uh, Louis Molito. I mean, her, her husband was part was was true was part of the Castellano thing. He was part of that crew. But Sammy's problem from way back when with Molito was that uh, he knew Castellano had a, had a problem with Gravano, and he didn't tell Gravano. Gravano and Molito went back to the fifties when they were. I think they were in the. What about that? Did John Gotti? Right? Any chance John Gotti had your husband killed? Absolutely not. The reason why uh, Sammy w uh, had a hit uh, put out on him was because Sammy did kill uh, Louis, uh, and John found out about it. Uh, uh, when my daughter, daughter went to uh, the trial uh, to show that Louis was killed uh, and he wasn't disappeared, maybe to the uh, to, to Italy, uh, John couldn't even look at my daughter in the face. Uh, when my husband went to John's uh, son's funeral and my son was in a body cast, uh, John said to my husband, Louis, thank God you still have your son. Uh, that doesn't sound like a man to me that would say okay f to Louis to be murdered. Tom, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, hi. How you doing, Howard? Uh, I completely agree with everything she's saying. I actually heard the same thing about Hoffa being buried in the Arizona Bridge. All right, there you go. So a lot of people evidently know that. What is Baba Buhai? You know, in Sammy's book, Sammy says that he was there when Louis was killed, but he didn't do it. Well, I don't think Linda uh, believes it no, for no, a minute. Saying, but, but Sammy was, was certainly present when it happened. He admits to that. Right. Frank, go ahead. You're on the air. Uh, how you doing? I, I just want to say one thing. This lady, she needs to keep her mouth shut. If there's any reason why the mob isn't around anymore, it's because of people like her. It's the reason why the Russians are taking over. I mean, the old guys used to keep their mouth shut, mind their own business, make their money. Now everybody wants to act like they're connected. Well, she really was connected. Michael, you're on the air. Yo, uh, where is this bitch going to be at again today? Uh, ah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Come on, tell me. Where's the matter gonna be? with you? Calm down. All right, she's going to be signing copies of her book today from 2 to 4 at the Barnes & Noble at 105 Fifth Avenue, Manhattan. Linda Melito's book, Mafia Wife, is available in bookstores right now. Nice to meet you, Linda. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Good luck with your book. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope you sell a bunch of copies. Thank you. All right, that's Linda. I like that picture. You got more pictures in the book? Yeah, yeah a lot of pictures. Anything naked? Uh. Nah, that's my kind of thing. See, she's old school, Howard. No naked pictures. Yeah. Take care, Linda. There she goes. The mafia wife. Bye-bye.
I think Linda's cool. I hope she, everything works out for her. I wonder if those guys are going to go down to the book signing. <laughs> I think Linda's going to have some people with her. She'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they wouldn't shoot her right at the book signing, would they? No, it's not done that way. <laughs> they wait till you go to dinner or something. Uh, I thought I was done, Rob. <laughs> wow. I think that's fascinating. I, mean, I love all that mafia stuff. Yeah. yeah, I love it from afar. I love the stories, but I don't know how you could uh, live with one of those guys. I had a mob guy once who asked me if I needed a favor. I know. Remember that? You yeah. were around for that. And I said, no. <laughs> no, that's okay. No. No, I don't want to get into that loop. He goes, hey, we all love you. Think you're great. Anything you need, I'll take care of. Let us know. And he was the real deal, too. Oh, yeah. And I said, um, you would never think this guy was in the mob. Ever. And that's why you hired me. I met him at a hotel randomly. I saw the, the hotel was bending over backwards for the guy. Oh, they were jumping through hoops. You'd think they were all trained by, by a circus performer. And I'm standing there, and, you know, I was pretty famous at the time. I figured, hey, why don't I get some treatment? <laughs>